per LG Crossing which I will be sending to the training center this should give us a complete layout one deck below the bridge unlike the normal ships normal LNG the old LNG ships which used to have mimic panels uh, to give us an exact idea of the pipeline arrangements on the deck this ship is a bit unique in the sense that they have <coughs> an integrated DCS system it's a digital control system whereby it's, it's a more of a touch screen for uh, controlling of all the operations using a HIS, what they call it. It's a human interface station. It's basically a monitor in all the drawings. Uh, being available in the monitor, they can control opening and closing of the majority of the valves in the monitor. The one right now is the this is the SAP tank radar where <coughs> all the level gauges at various levels has been uh, installed by makers SAP which is again then interfaced with the DCS system to have a have it in the DCS interface station this is the slave sap and radar cage that was the master this is the loading computer the loading computer has several facilities it has a tank plan arrangement it has the loading status, it also calculates the weather or the wind healing movements, it has the impact stability criteria as inbuilt, the shearing forces bending movements and in particular the damage stability is also incorporated into the loading data. These are the other controls, that's the meter. indicator that's a log input and this is the first HIS the first HIS you look at the first monitor you have the entire operation of the ship centrally controlled using this monitor to say just in brief to how it works. For example, the level gauges have been installed by SAP, the, the heaters have been installed by different makers, the compressors have been installed by different makers. The entire parameters of each of these equipments, instrumentation, etc., have been integrated into the digital control system whereby operator working in the central control room can have an access to all the equipment and instrumentation at this human interface station. There is no mimic panel at all on the ship. They are in pairs, that's the first HIS. That's the second 
apologize. That's the third. And the top is the CCTV, which covers eight locations around the vessel, bow, manifold area, compressor rooms, engine rooms, stern, etc. Quite a unique feature in the ship, you also have a telegraph in the center control room. That's a rudder angle indicator. That's the talk back system and a few other engine room parameters. So start the these are the two printers. This printer is basically set for giving a complete record or a complete log of all the parameters in the cargo system every day. And this is an event log whereby under the DCS, that's a digital control system, any person any of the equipment whereby even trying to have an access to the parameter if he has to have an interface with the HIS that's human interface system it prints it out in this printer this printer is also located at various locations on the ship this ensures transparency to confirm as to what actions have been taken by any individual whether it be a gas engineer uh, uh, machinery engineer or a tech officer trying to have an access to the control systems and as to what this action has been. There are two printers, this is the event log and this is the daily alarm log which can be set for 12 hours for 24 hours. Normally in this ship it's set at 8 o'clock, every day at 8 o'clock this will give us a complete status of the Band radar and this egg disk 
now it's switched off because they don't have any charts for the expected to be supplied shortly probably in the first discharge port. So that like this will also be a unique feature of this ship. Uh, although they cannot go over the big charge of this have an EMC. And uh, so the single equipment that's installed, single equipment that's installed for the ship. It's a fire detector panel. Sprinter systems. And one HIS, human interface station, located on the fridge. It's completely automated and all the controls whether it be the engine room, the compass room, the remote room or the tech has been co-installed by different makers it's all been centrally integrated by the Yokogawa digital control system and can have been accessed using the human interface station it's not a touch screen though The ship is supplied with Saturn, provided with Saturn, 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 that's the mass at sea. That's the chakra system, that is supplied with the chakra system. That's the weather facts, and Saracom matrix. That's the Tropical Slave, like this. Module system, GPS, AIS, log, regular log, animometer, echo sounder, which is graphic display. We don't have any means of recording it. Recording paper, paper, paper. Though that we can store a maximum of 50 positions. Corresponding depths in the That's the manual steering arrangement.
Forging the manifold with nitrogen. This is a pressure tap. That's a pressure gauge. Outboard of the manifold valve. That's the man uh, remote control valve, manifold valve. That's a remote control manifold valve. There are two safety relief valves on each rather two relief valves on each manifold. That's the first one on the outboard side and second one on the inboard side of the manifold. There's one manual valve. That's the inboard manifold valve. A quick recap. You have an inboard manifold valve, you have a relief valve, you have a remote operated valve, you have a safety relief valve again on the output side, they are set to a pressure of 10 bars, that's the pressure gauge tapping, and that's the fitting or fitting for nitrogen purging. That's the tray. Which is generally filled up with water. That is the U. connection and the U shaped spool goes line purposes. That's the modems, miscellaneous ones. Liquid manifold. That's the IG manifold connected to the connected to the liquid manifold and vapor manifold depending upon the manifold, the center one and the forward liquid manifold. Each liquid manifold used for pulling down the lines prior arrival. This line comes from spray pump. Just a little bit of the power boost. Liquid manifolds 
before you start with the path that is around the forward of the liquid. From the manifold area, we are coming up. There are three lines, the one the vapor, and the other going to the crossover. Exactly feasible in today's scenario. 
uh, same ship was with a membrane containment would be a good handle for 108,000 cubic capacity. This is a boss gas of 141 cubic, 141,000 cubic. Uh, we will talk about the outfitting on the Bar, 0.07 and 150 
uh, as discussed earlier, it also has an additional pilot provided. Even the pump has to fail and is pressurized discharge. As an additional pilot provided, which can raise the pressure to 1.5 knots. These tanks are designed to stand. The test pressure is 